There's a ton of awesome open source hardware projects on the web. For many, you have to take code from a PC and put it on a chip. I've got a PIC here in a very basic circuit with one LED. I'll show you how to program the chip with four programmers. First, we'll use a socket programmer, plug it into the serial port, load up a program called WinPIC 800. Test it out. Works fine. So now we'll pry the chip out of the circuit and put it into the programmer. We can test out the chip in WinPIC. It's there. That's fine. Now we can load up our firmware and program it to the chip. It'll just take a second. Now we unplug the serial cable, pry out the chip with the screwdriver. This is really poor form on my part. Hey, pop it back into the circuit. Now the software is a really simple program that lights up the LED. We apply power. We can take all the wires that touch the chip in there and bring them out to a header like this. I have a similar header on the breadboard and I can plug this programmer right in. Connect the serial port and program the firmware. Now we can take the programmer off, reconnect the power, and the LED should light. This is really convenient and absolutely necessary if you have surface mount components where you can't take the chips off when you want to program it, but we still have to unplug it every time. We can use something different, like this programmer for microchip. It's a USB programmer, but it's also a debugger, so we don't have to unplug our circuit when we program. We program for microchip's MP lab, load up our firmware, and program the PIC. It happens really fast through USB. Since the circuit is still powered, the LED is on right away. Finally, we'll use this copy of the debugger. I built this from plans I found on the web. It's not a clone because it lacks some features of the real thing. And again, we program for Microchips MP Lab. Want to know more? Read the full article at DIYLife.com. How does this work? It's very simple. Now here's what happens.